Hi, it's Heine here from Wizoid. In this video, I will show you the full workflow of turning a simple input image into this high-quality render, all in a few minutes. You will see how fast and intuitive it can be to bring your ideas to life with AI. So, let's get into it. Here is the input image I will be working with. I also brought along this inspiration photo. My goal is to recreate its atmosphere the tea plantation rows, people working in the fields, and a slightly cloudy sky. Since the input already has textures, I will start in precise mode. And because I want to add details that aren't in the input, like the tea rows, I will increase the geometric freedom so the model can interpret my prompt more openly. Now for the prompt. You can use auto-generate as a quick start, but I will write mine from scratch to show you the logic. A strong prompt includes everything the building's geometry and materials, the environment, the lighting, and the style. Don't worry about being too specific, every detail helps. Visoid can understand multiple languages, but for the best results, we recommend using English with clear, descriptive wording. Once the prompt looks good, I hit generate. It's always a good idea to render several images at once. As you can see, the results can vary. Having four or more versions makes it easier to find the one that best matches your vision. Next, let's build out the environment with more AI freedom so it feels natural and realistic. You can use either Replace or Create with regional selection. I will use Create here because it gives me more control over perspective and detail. I will select the area for the T-rows, increase geometric freedom, lower the input image blend, then add my quick prompt and switch to the second render engine for more expressive results. And of course, I will generate multiple versions to keep my options open. We will do the same thing for the sky as well. Now I want to add some people. I will use the replace tool. Select the region, keeping composition and perspective in mind, write the prompt, and generate a few times. People are one of the trickiest things in AI rendering, so don't get discouraged if it takes some trial and error. Generating lots of variations is the fastest way to land on a natural result. Once I find a decent result, I can refine it with the Create tool. I will keep the selection, add my prompt, and let the model sharpen up the details. After several regional edits, it's a good idea to re-render the whole image to bake everything together. I will use the most precise mode with a little extra geometric freedom, and the same base prompt, but this time including the people. Now we can spot some distracting details. The people have odd-looking arms, the house doesn't blend naturally with the environment, and there's a strange shadow in the sky. Luckily, the Replace tool makes these easy to fix. I will remove the arm with negative prompting, then use positive prompting to tell the model what to replace it with. I will use positive prompting to connect the house with its surroundings. For the sky shadow, I will combine negative and positive prompting again. And once everything looks right, I will render the whole image again. Finally, let's polish the atmosphere and lighting with the transform tool. Since my original prompt already defines the mood, I will just add it again here. I will test different change amounts to see how the model reacts. Even when focusing only on atmosphere or weather, it's still helpful to keep building details in the prompt so we can make sure they stay clean. For me, these results look too overcast with skies that are way too dark, so I will tweak the prompt, adding more detail about colors and asking for a clear sky instead of overcast. Let's see how that shifts the result. And here's the final image. From start to finish, this whole workflow took only about 25 minutes. At this point, you can bring the render into Photoshop for some extra color adjustments, or just leave it as is. If you would like to learn more about AI rendering and get practical tips, 
subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Instagram. And if you haven't tried Vizoid yet, head to our website and try it for free to see what's possible. Thanks for watching and see you next time.